Oh, boys and girls, Mike Kelly, uh, Animators Forum, RealUsionForum.com. Uh, yesterday, I posted a video trying to show somebody how to get the wings uh, morphs from uh, Daz into iClone, which you can do that way, but somebody <laughs> on the forum, on the Real Illusion Forum, uh, said, why don't you just try to bring the morphs over, you know, uh, in this Character Creator 3 like we normally do with all the other ones, and I had tried this in the past, and it didn't work, and so I explored some more as to why I wasn't having any luck, and I found out a lot more things. Remember, I always say, I'm not an expert on Daz, not by any means whatsoever. And uh, the problem is, uh, and I think you, I think I've shown you this, guys, before. You go in to, I'm showing you this other things. When you go to export, like a thing, we're going to do this one that we already have, you have uh, morph rules, and these morph rules will... Uh, control what is going to be exported okay so if you put in uh, something here that starts with the word wings it will export and, and I always thought it, it because I had no luck getting it to export some of these controls in the posing area I always thought that that had to be uh, in the shaping in the actual shaping morphs but like I say uh, Mr. Gurges over on the on the real illusion forum says oh no you can export these as well and I hadn't had any luck doing that, and so I was trying to figure out why I hadn't had any luck. And the reason is that the names here uh, are not the real names of the morphs. So, for example, I would say, let's say I wanted to get wings back one. I would actually put that in the export rules there, those those morph export rules, and that wouldn't come in to, to a character creator. And so I want to show you an example of one that will make a lot more sense. Uh, here's... Uh, the wings back one and you notice there's no spaces in it. It's specified differently here than it is specified in uh, Daz. So uh, what's going on there? Well, that's because they use aliases for their names. So for example, I wanted to get wings front in here. So if you if you see if I go into here and export and I had, see if I can make this real clear to you. Yes, I know. I'm going to go to the export rules. I put in wings front with no spaces okay so i thought well that'll match this one wings front wings front no spaces i got it and it didn't it didn't well instead what happened was it that didn't come over at all so why is that well in that particular case i actually had to look at the um let's go over here had to look at the specific morph where are we Get back to here there we go so if i if i close this out so why did wings front not come in? So you can go right over here to settings, okay? Settings, parameter settings, and then it'll bring up a list, and it shows you that the actual name is not wings front, but wings bend front, okay? So that's what we had to specify. So in this particular case, if we want to get like wings uh, front one and wings front two, for example, all the wings front, for example, we're going to have to use wings bend front, okay? So we go in here, export, and again, we do the rules, and yes, and X to the more rules. And so instead of wings front, we're going to change that to wings bend front, okay? So now, if we say that and we accept that, it's going to write out all of those morphs that have exactly what we want in them. So you gotta, you actually have to know the exact names here, or at least the... The way they're laid out uh, and you notice we say wings front is just going to match the, the very first ones that it finds so now notice we don't have any wings uh, front here at all we have wings down and wings up but we'll go to transformer and we'll load that in again and as it always does it checks to make sure it's a genesis figure that's what it's doing here and then as soon as it does that you always know, choose basic and then it's going to say you know you want to save that file uh, that's that first part where this so there's the wings so we say yes brings that in and what we'd expect to see is not only the wings back and the wings I'm sorry wings up and down and back and that one back one but also the wings front which we specified with the wings bend front and there they are wings bend front so now we can actually use those morphs here and they're all they're all here uh, wings bend front the wings down so if I if I move this around so that's that's a much easier way, way of getting uh, of getting the wings in. You can still do it the way I did it with the morphs and stuff, but obviously that's not nearly as good. Uh, so, so there we go, wings front and back. So the key is, 
And, and you might say, well, Mike, why didn't we just say the word wing? And you can, but then you get d hundreds. I mean, you get dozens and dozens of morphs that are not very useful to you. So, And when you get morphs that you can't use, like here we still got this one because it wings. It came in anyway, and this really is not a useful morph. You notice it doesn't do anything. It's actually set for fixing these wings if you're using the girl, uh, and you might get things like that. We well, could go in and you can delete the sliders, and that won't hurt you. But if you end up with, you know, like, hundreds and dozens that you have to delete, that's not so good. So much easier to bring in only the ones that you want to have. So uh, so now we've got them all. So that's that's how to do it, boys and girls. And thank you for Gurgis for pointing that out uh, that I did not know. And uh, thanks to you guys out there. Keep, keep asking me for things and I'll keep doing whatever I can.